Going on Legion as we are like always and we got some uh, comic book news kind of interesting it's been a good while since I've read some of the uh, some of the comics I usually get digital downloads of comics because um, I don't really want to go out and get a physical copy um, and a lot of the ones that I read was, uh, read was the ultimate kind of universe the what if ultimate Spider-Man X-Men Fantastic for all that stuff so <clears throat> excuse me I haven't checked out a lot of the other stuff, but I've always kept in touch whether it was the Marvel database, and they're constantly up, updated a uh, 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 database, um, and what was kind of canon within the comics, I've always kind of read about it. I never read the I exact comic, but now there's like a fresh start, this says. This is, this is kind of something new, something a little different, so I'm kind of excited because this will kind of dictate, um, you know some influences in the movie world and maybe some of the the cartoons no matter how old i get i will always watch like a marvel or like a dc kind of a cartoon i don't even care if it's really kitty you know avengers assemble and, and uh, um, earth's my heroes that one was pretty kitty but it's like when you want something marvel and you don't want to read it that's kind of you know ultimate spider-man the cartoon was really great uh spider-man 2017 that's a show that's still going on now um and i think some of these are on disney xd um Guardians of the Galaxy is a good show. Not very much Kitty, but um, it's there. Uh, and they're all really good. And, and it's, like I said, no matter how old, I always want to get some of the Marvel action. Even if I don't want to read it or wait for the next effing movie to come out whenever it's coming out. So, But this, this might be a little different. I might definitely... Wait, that doesn't actually make sense. Might definitely. Huh. That's a new way of speaking. I definitely might check out... <laughs> Uh, depending on what they do with the new season, with the new look, with the new fresh start, as as it were. I'm interested. So hopefully they give me something that kind of brings me back, makes me want to read. Also, reading stuff on a monitor really makes your eyes and the head. It's it, Five hours of online reading sucks. So let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Let's see what awesome changes Marvel's making to the comic book universe. Let's go. It's pretty loud for me. Say walking through these halls. I've never seen more enthusiasm and more excitement for where Marvel Comics is going this year. Jean Grey looked pretty good right there. What's up? Eh. Not since Marvel Now have we had such an overarching, right. line-wide change of talent on the Marvel Comics line. Right, right. Like Strange, Miles, Logan, She-Hulk. New fresh ideas, new okay, fresh okay. creators, uh, really are taking that perspective. Which is, if you if you haven't read a comic before, if you're an old lapse fan and you want to come back, it's a perfect opportunity to do it because these stories, as I say, they start at start uh, and they're great jumping off points. Spider-Man, of course. A fresh start. May twenty. Okay. A little shorter than I thought it was. I kind of spoke a little longer. I kind of, kind of wish I wouldn't have talked as much in the beginning as I did. Um, so as far as like some of the stuff they were showing there, um, you know, we got. Uh, let's see if I can find some of the the pictures there. It's okay. It's how. Come on. It's a freaking minute long video. Why can't I find the clip I want? There we go. So we got like, you know, Gene looks. I'm assuming that's Jean. It's the very similar suit to what she used to have way back in the day that wasn't that gold butterfly thingy. It's the same colors. She's a little bit more curvy now, a little bit more endowed. Because, uh, you know, they always kept her kind of... the le She was always so smart. And she was just... They always gave her uh, such a, such like a, a beauty, uh, how she looked in the face and stuff. So they, they made her very minimal i think when a lot of comics almost it's it's just like that shy of like pin up sometimes you know when we hit if you watch some of the old or if you read some of the old comics or even look at some of the old um x-men the animated series like rogue rogue is this long leg curvy busty woman southern gal southern charm that 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 venom's looking very weird with the weird ass spider logo double looks like it's two um, and see, like, so, if we're looking at this, they gave Jean, like, I, I mean, 
how many natural redheads are like extremely busty or curvy? I know it's a weird thing to say, but whenever I see some of the liberties that artists take with with the female shape or or guys in general too, uh, I always go, oh, we don't really ever see a person with like this kind of hair because this red hair is it's a genetic thing and there's a it's a very I guess pigeonhole, you don't see a lot of variety in people with red hair as far as their body types go or, or any of these other things. So in, in regions of the world, some it, it, it's all a thing. For me, seeing those kind of differences is kind of, it's just a ditch, attention to detail. And so like Jean specifically always seemed like she was never the most curvy or busty person. And I don't know if that was on tint because she was always so smart and you know that was the kind of push they were doing. But now she like has this scowl on her face. She, she her head piece looks more like less of leathery suit thing and more like a, a, a metal. Like looks like and she looks like she's like battle hard. Like she's ready to go in. Um, and the complete contrast. Really funny enough. Captain Marvel. Oh, is that Captain Marvel? That looks. That's not. No, that's not. Um. No, yeah. Captain Marvel because it almost looks like Nova, like a Nova Corps outfit, but. With the star, but I think I'm remembering it wrong. That's Captain Marvel, which, and a lot of animation stuff, or and, and other things as well. They definitely made her the, the the blonde hottie, and now we look like we got a very buzz cut kind of situation going on. Um, but for that, a lot of other people like there's Luke Cage on the very bottom, and that might be Jessica Jones next to him. Who knows who that's going to be? I bet you it is. Um, we look at freaking Doctor Strange over here, and he's looking less like a like a nerdy kind of guy. And he looks like he's just some. It looks like he has a samurai sword on his back. Like it's kind of crazy, man. Because Doctor Strange was always this very stuffy D and D guy. That you know, if you, if you ever had that kid that played D and D at your school, my friend was one of those people. Uh, that's kind of Doctor Strange. He was just kind of like a a nerdy. He he. He lived by the beat of his own drum, I guess is the way the, the easiest way to, to say that. And this one he doesn't he looks kind of like a like a mixture like the Punisher and like Logan for a second, just scruffy beard, scally face. Uh, it looks like he's taking no grief. I see Mr. Fantastic's arm in there. Um, I have no idea what the hell's going on with Venom. It's it's I'm I'm not liking this. Thor, oh sh wait, why does he have? A gold arm. Did he lose his arm? I remember he lost his eye in the actual movie, so I don't know what they're doing there. It looks like like that's like he like he lost his arm. And Mjolnir looks kind of gold too. Captain America, same old garbage. Iron Man getting a little upgrade over here. It's looking, you know, Wasp has like a like a black look now, not freaking Jesus, look at Ant Man. It looks like it's like Super Saiyan 3 Goku with like the no eyebrows and the caveman brow. I'm kind of digging some... Wait, we just saw Punisher for a second. Let's see if we can get a full on a Punisher. I don't think I like Punisher being in a t-shirt. Like he's a thug. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't a fan of how they made Logan look. You just... Wife beater and... That's kind of it. There's Miss Marvel down there. Miles... Um, what else are we going to get to see here? We've, the Logan, of course, Black Panther. So we got some definite character features uh, in the Black Panther suit. Very cool. Some cat features. Gambit. Gambit's looking fucking sick. I'm liking his look. More up to date. What, what we're looking at here, <clears throat> what I'm seeing a lot of, is I'm seeing a lot of what was back in like the 70s and 80s, but being kind of redone for the here and now. And being done right. She-Hulk, it's the same old, same old. Is that Ghost Rider in the back that I could see there? Who was that? I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I kind of want to know. We're going to get another full-on... Stop, stop yammering, please. Just show me. It's really interesting, yes. It's all new people and directions and people and things and people. That was... Yeah, that was Ghost Rider. Okay, right there on the on the left... By Iron Man's armpit, Deadpool looking. Deadpool looks very much like old school Deadpool to me. Uh, yeah, not a fan of Punisher. That's Luke Cage. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming that's the the, the Netflix people. 
We got Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, Daredevil. Um, no Iron Fist, which is kind of weird because Luke Cage and Iron Fist are like a bonesman couple. Mjolnir, full on gold, looking very different. Um, Spider Man, very traditional Spider Man, with just maybe the updated art style for today, but very traditional. I'm liking it. Thor, I want to know his story. I think Thor is the most inter interesting one out of all of them. Um, and Jean, I mean, just, just, hey man, it's Jean Grey. Whatever, sucker for redheads, right? I don't like the casual look that Logan has, Wolverine. I'm not about that. And I wish I could have saw maybe a little bit more X-Men mutant people in there. But we got two representations, and I guess that's good. Hulk looks like Frankenstein meets who gives a fuck. So, I would love to see some character. I would have loved to see more detail on Ghost Rider. Honestly, the skull. I would have loved to see a little bit more of that. Some more just insane. Because Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, man... Oh, he's so badass. He's he's sick as shit. Uh, even though the movies were horrible, when he gets in that big ass like construction thing and he just turns the whole and it just starts rotating in all these weird ways, I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, that was the best thing ever. I would love to see him like in a in an airliner. Oh, we're going down terrorism, and he just hops in the seat, and just and then the whole plane just turns into a hell bound death stick. I don't know death cylinder and like the the this turbines on the uh plane are all fire and brimstone that, there's so much cool stuff you can do uh dare uh almost a daredevil ghost rider but with that I've, I've talked way too long about a short very short clip but we kind of went over all the stuff and uh it all looks really cool except for the hulk he looks fucking stupid i hate it and but with that i'm gonna get out just let me know uh, in the comments down below love to see you all the comments if you want to discuss anything we talked about on this channel on this video specifically let me know down below what you think of all the new looks i'm not a I mean, I always think that uh, Carol, um, Captain Marvel, should always be the the busty blonde. I think that's just kind of the way it should always be. Not this. She looks like she's an anorex, anorexic, dying person. It's very weird. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the new looks for some of these people. Or maybe some of the reimaginations of the, the new... Even if some of these looks are from the last time. They look maybe they're a little bit more updated. Let me know. Love to see them. Hear all those comments. Like I said, and once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Later.